Let's take a look at creating thread milling tool paths for five axis positioning with Visi. Okay, let's get started. Go ahead and pick the face of the feature you want to machine. Review the properties related to that feature. Pick the feature in the list. Go ahead and add an operation. We're going to go to the two and a half axis operations, find mill thread, pick it. And then you notice that here's the different cutters that are associated with it. picks the correct cutter for the size of the hole. You can see the properties that we're uh, showing. Go ahead and pick that. It's creating a tool path right now. Once the tool path is done, we can go ahead and look at it in our uh, tool path laboratory. Let's go ahead and view that and you can animate it and see how it mill threads. Now I'm going to show you how this can be automated by using Visi's Compass technology. So from the model manager, we're going to pick feature recognition and go ahead and run that. And we're only going to do holes uh, just to show you how this works. So now it's analyzing the part. It's going to come back, show you all the different setups it created. So all the different planes that you see in there. And then I can open that up and show you all the different holes and it created over the part. So let's go ahead and pick some of these features. And then what we're going to do next is I'm going to run the compass technology on this one. So go ahead to compass, hit run. And now it's actually calculated all the tool paths in there. And it made the cam setups for each one. And you notice that those are all the rules that it centered drills, drills, and taps, or just drills. Let's review these programs in the Visi simulation software. So we're going to turn on kinematics. We're going to go ahead and open that up. Uh, our window of our kinematics will open up now. You can see we can simulate the machine and uh, all the heads and everything. We're going to go ahead and hit play. And you can notice that as I'm machining, uh, the center drills and the taps show a red turn the part red, that means the part is being violated. The CAD data does not represent those sizes of tools. So it's a good indicator. And over here on the right, it does tell you that these operations are being a violation for you to go ahead and check um, to see if there truly is something you, you should be concerned about. So once this is finished, we go ahead and we're going to end the kinematics. Here's the part. Next, we're going to select these programs. We're going to post process them out. View the file. File comes up. There's your code. Send it to the machine. It's that fast to do this operation. Mm -hmm.